He calls them benchmarks of dates and names, dozens of tattoos showing his art, his story, but also his opportunity. Sometimes I forget how I look. People, when they see me, they have this idea. And then once you talk to them, you kind of hear a little bit about myself, they're like, oh, this is totally polar opposite of what I might have expected. Enrique Salinas no longer allows first impressions to dictate his life. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. Fill in the blank here. Your childhood was what? A blessing. Yeah, that's my story. So, uh, God, I love that. I love that he's here, considering where he's been. When I was incarcerated, it was, I was incarcerated. My middle brother was incarcerated. My grandfather was incarcerated. My mom was incarcerated. My biological dad was incarcerated. And I remember even being in my cell and thinking five of us in our family that are right now probably all in our cell thinking about each other. That's a bookmark of life that I have. Like, we all had the same thoughts. He was kicked out of two high schools, was in jail at 14, and out of options when he finally agreed to attend the Por Vida Academy on the city's south side. We like to say we're the District of Hope. What we are really trying to do here is give students opportunities where they haven't had them. That is Lauren Frankoviak, the school superintendent who admits that Por Vida can do things other schools cannot. And students have told me we've saved them from the streets, we've saved them from uh, prison, we've saved them from death, we've saved them from themselves, like their own anger. The school helps students find their own success at their own pace in their own way. And boy, did Enrique find success. He graduated from Por Vida at 19, then from St. Phillips, then from Texas State, then a master's, all with honors. He kept telling himself he was exactly where he needed to be, even when others told him differently. And even at Texas State, I remember I was walking uh, down the sidewalk and where all these buses are, where kids are waiting, 100, 200 kids on that sidewalk. And I remember walking and everyone just went, Phew. and I was like, wow, that's very, interesting like wow like they don't, even, they don't even want to accidentally bump into me he grew to accept that he couldn't outrun first impressions so he quit trying and instead embraced them the response of people saying like hey i heard your story like hey there is actually someone that's from our community that's doing these things it brings that hope it brings that realization that hey my kids can do this so you're a role model i try to be he's also a doctor or will be when he gets his phd from the university of texas when i walk on ut i know i'm just as deserving as other students that are there. I have something that not a lot of these students have, which is that lived experience. That experience, these benchmarks, are all reminders that the only impressions that matter are the lasting ones. For the people that meet him now, and they have a first impression, your response to that is what? To always be open-minded, it can open a lot of doors for a lot of people. And if they let that first impression be positive and open-minded, it could be a great thing for anyone that meets him.